The frantic search for a 10-year-old boy snatched off a school bus in October grows more and more desperate. It all went down on gut-wrenching surveillance video. We're not going to let him do anything to you. In October, San Antonio, Texas cops forced that child, a terrified Jean-Paul Lacombe, off of his school bus and into his father's car as the child begged them not to. Cops say they were simply following orders. A Texas judge reportedly says he was tricked into signing an order that gave custody of the boy to his father. That man, Jean-Philippe Lacombe, allegedly gave the judge a legal document written in Spanish that the court couldn't read and didn't bother translating. The dad claimed that document gave him custody of the boy, but that was a lie. The papers were reportedly a warrant for his own arrest in Mexico. Meanwhile, prosecutors and the U.S. Marshals are now hunting for this guy and his 10-year-old son. They suspect they could be in Mexico or in France. As for the child's mother, she is holding on to every single shred of hope. I'm getting the help we need to get close. And I send you a lot of love. So we are getting closer every day that is coming. So. Don't cry anymore. Be strong. We are going to hear from that brave mom live tonight, and I'm hoping we can even give her more insight into how authorities can and should track her son's alleged abductor. That advice is going to come from our very special guest, Bounty Hunter, and star of 80s hit show, Dog the Bounty Hunter, Dwayne Dog Chapman. Dog will share his many real-life brushes with danger and even his own brush with the law. He starts to eat, breathe, and live just to catch luster. Then Dog's luck will change when he goes right. There's so much to talk about, and I want to hear from you. Give me a call on this case. What do you think the mom should do? 1-877-586-7297. Straight out to my fantastic guest, Berenice Diaz, the missing boy's mother, and her attorney, Miguel Ortiz. We also have Richard Broke, an attorney who specializes in abduction cases. And live from his home state of Hawaii, the one and only Dwayne Dog Chapman. Thank you for joining me, Dog. Dog, there is a mother Thank you, ma'am. Living in agony, tortured because she doesn't know where her precious son is. She is right there in studio listening right now. What advice would you give her? What does she need to do to find her boy? Well, you know, one thing about these parents that run off with their kids, when you have a child that is a, a kidnapper that's a predator, you need to find the child within a couple days. If you don't, usually the child is found, you know, harmed. With the, it's, it's hard to say this, but sometimes time is on her side when it comes to a parent like this taking. You know, all the excuses you could ever use, it was the judge's fault, he should have had an interpreter, you know, it was a lot of mistakes were made, but you can't go back on them mistakes. I would be filing or, or financing this hunt with the, the attorney's malpractice suit on both sides. So, you know, I, I you don't want to think about that. You want to think about where he is. OK, where is he? He's been to France. He's been to Mexico. I think that he kind of went to Mexico maybe to throw her off because this is the second time he's done that. But w what you need to do is keep out pictures of him. Keep the pictures in the media. Keep the pictures door to door. Wherever you think he's at, start sending pictures to the local sheriff down there. A lot of times in Mexico, small towns have a lot of other things going on and they don't say watch television. So you need to start sending mug shots to the places of the baby and a copy of his arrest warrant for the husband wherever you think he could be. You could actually sit at home, get on your computer, your emails, your faxes, and just start bombarding places with, I think my husband's down here, would you please look around? But but usually it's it takes a 
few days to be able to where he settles down. The little boy sounds like he is going to be very vocal and mm -hmm. talk to a friend or talk to someone he meets and say, hey, would you get a hold of my mother? I think that's what will happen is the little boy mm -hmm. will uh, let slip where he's at trying to find the mother. Yeah, and you were down there successfully looking for Andrew Luster, the cosmetics heir who fled to Mexico after being convicted in absentia of uh, a whole bunch of sex crimes. You caught him, so you know what you're talking about, dog, because you were the bounty hunter down there tracking this guy. And I remember that you we, we watched you day after day, and you got closer and closer, and you finally just narrowed it and found out where he was. Tonight's big issue. Where in the world could this father-son pair be? The possibilities span three continents. Cops believe they could be in Mexico City. Why? Because Jean-Philippe Lacombe is a Mexican citizen and because Berenice has said that she holds her son's passport. Mexico is also just a car ride away. There have been some reports, in fact, that um, the father's car was seen crossing the border into Mexico. Berenice also says she spotted them, however, at the San Antonio airport after the abduction. Were they flying to France? The boy's father also has French citizenship. Or could they even be headed to Russia? Berenice says her ex-husband is now married to a Russian woman. Dog, the mom is right here. What questions would you like to ask the mom, Berenice, to get a handle on what direction to go? Well, I heard the father had a lot of money. Does he use credit cards? How does he travel usually? Berenice? Uh, right now, I don't know how he. Did. I haven't seen her him for a while, so I don't know if he's using credit cards or, or only you know cash. And do you have a picture of his new wife? Do you have her name and her picture? I have his complete her complete name, but I don't have a picture. I don't have a picture of her. Well, I think you just okay. raised something really good, dog. Because if we get a picture of that woman, uh, that could give us a lead too but go ahead well a lot of times exactly right if we if we have a fugitive that say leaves with his girlfriend and you can't find the fugitive he's too elusive then we start looking for the girlfriend so right now i would start looking for this new wife get her picture out there she probably doesn't want this kind of heat on her but let me say something about the mexican citizens i did arrest andrew luster for 86 counts of rape we were rearrested later five years later because of that when the Mexico court saw what he did, they dropped charges against my family. Mexico is very high on children and life. If, the, you know, the Mexican government has a warrant for this guy for kidnapping, they will do everything under their power. This is not like a drug dealer or a cartel member. Uh, Mexico has very high morality, the country. When you go to snatching babies, they don't like that. So I would, I would absolutely get you know, the warrant copy of it, get a picture of his alleged wife. We can track him through credit cards. I'll try, I'll go home right now and tell Beth, we'll try to help you out a little bit tracking him because, you know, I don't Thank think you. he's paying cash with all that different, well, you're very welcome. With all that different currency right now all over, he's hitting different countries. I think he's using a couple cards or maybe his new wife's cards. But like I'm telling you, that little boy has got half of you in him and he's gonna go to someone yep. and say, Please call my mom. Do not let the phone that you, your son knows the number be occupied all the time. Keep that line like a hot red phone if you were calling the President Obama. Keep that phone blank until that baby calls. I guarantee you that baby's going to call you. What I don't understand, Berenice, is that your son was snatched in October. Here we are in December. What are the authorities doing to help you? Now they are doing a, an investigation, uh, you know, they are trying to track him as well, uh, but until two well, weeks why ago... Did, why did they wait so long? I mean, it was it, right after talk. this let horrific incident, it was just a phone call for them to realize that this guy was a kidnapper, he had kidnapped your child once before, and to get on his tail, and yet it seems like we're just, this, only when the media got on it do we hear that there's any action. Let me, let me answer that for her sure. because uh, uh, one of the problems that we have encountered, uh, w once uh, she came to our office, uh, we, we directed her to go to the law enforcement agencies and, and everybody uh, directed this to be a civil matter. A uh, civil matter? It's a kidnapping! And, and that's, what, up, that's what I believe was from the beginning. And it wasn't until after uh, the people from KABB uh, here, the local 
uh, reporters uh, got hold of the case and we got the video from the boss that thank god uh, for the media thank god for the media boy this is a shocker we're going to hear from an attorney who knows all about extradition issues coming up next stay right where you are we have more with dog we have more with this mom who's missing her child this thank god everybody's not like change let the mother talk already my goodness